My name is Dr. William Cohn, or Billy Cohn, and I'm a cardiothoracic surgeon in the Division of Heart Failure and Mechanical Surgery Assist at the Texas Heart Institute. Uh, the Texas Heart Institute is the uh, busiest heart failure program in the United States. It's situated here in the middle of the Texas Medical Center, the largest medical center on planet Earth. Uh, I did all my training here in the Texas Medical Center. I went to medical school did five years of general surgery training and two years of cardiac surgery training all at Baylor College of Medicine where I finished as the last chief resident under the legendary Michael DeBakey. After finishing my training here in Houston I accepted a position at Harvard Medical School and I was a heart surgeon at the Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center where I focused on innovation developing new technologies and new techniques to make heart surgery less invasive. When, when you're in utero, before you're born, everybody's got a hole in the heart. It's important so blood can bypass your lungs because they haven't filled with air yet and so blood won't go through them. Right when you take your first breath, a flap closes down on that hole and in a week or two has grown down in three-fourths of us. In one-fourth of us, it's still a connection. And it turns out that connection can lead to strokes. It can probably lead to bad headaches. The data is mounting that it does that. And so in a lot of patients, it's really beneficial to close the hole. Now this is a device. This is a very successful medical device that a lot of people have implanted. It's a little wire manhole cover, if you will, that through a catheter, you put across the hole, you deploy one disc, you then pull the catheter back and deploy the other. You have this big thing in your heart that can erode through structures, it can get infected, and it's a piece of metal wire in your heart. Tony, using that exact same throw and catch suture technology, has developed a catheter that can go across it and sew it shut under x-ray with great, great results and not have a, a piece of steel and fabric hanging off the, the wall of your heart. And so, uh, Everybody that sees it says this is a natural way for the field to progress. It's very easy to do. It's a brilliant design and, and, uh, and, and a real contribution. So I think Tony and I are both in our infancy with respect to developmental projects. We've both been at it for 15 or 20 years, but it's like any exponential curve. The more you know, the more expertise you gain, and the more progress you can make. And I think both of us are hitting stride, and I think the future is incredibly rosy. In fact, I don't believe there is any unmet clinical need that Tony and I couldn't sit down in a conference room and with a whiteboard and some magic markers get a good start on in a matter of weeks. Uh, with the resources he brings, his engineering expertise, uh, my clinical savvy, our combined passion for science and for innovation, I think we make a, a, an unbeatable team.